everyone, I am Fatima Binti Harun. Today, I will be presenting about the important role of technology in education for subject PQI 6004 Group 8 Dr. Sam. Technology has no doubt has transformed the education system and brought enormous benefits. Let's take a look at the biggest role of technology in the education starting with something you really don't want to miss. So, first and foremost, makes students more engaged and help them retain information. How and why? Okay, let us picture a bored student. He or she gazes out the window, recalling that movie or TV show from last night. Perhaps drumming fingers on the desk, the student tunes up the teacher's words with more entertaining thoughts. In short, they are entirely unengaged. Now, take that same student and plug them into a tablet or other device like iPad, or iPhone, or even their PC. Watch the involvement in the learning process take flight. The interactivity excites, drawing the learners in. Not only do the students feel motivated and energized by technology in the classroom, but they also participate in active learning. Second point, which is accommodate multiple learning styles. It is faster and easier, of course, but it's not that effective. That's because students, like the rest of society, are individuals. That is, they have different strength and different uh, response. Let's break that different learning style to three different teaching approaches to see how technology can benefit each group. So, for the first group, auditory learners, they are respond best to spoken rather than written words. For these students, recorded les lessons, audiobooks and podcasts can effectively do their lessons. However, the second group which is uh, visual learners rely more on sight than sound. They read faster and tend to pay more attention to details when reading. Ebooks and interactive whiteboards are good choices. And for the last group, tactile learners find active learning best, so teachers can encourage them to use their sense of touch. Tactile learners are more likely to get bored and distracted in the class, which needs for them to sit for a long period of time. So this is where technology shines as it is very hands-on, allowing students to Whole devices, click on mice, and swipe screens is especially tactiles. It helps these kind of learners by applying to their sense of touch. For the next point, which is encourages collaboration through the internet, ideas and opinions can be shared just as easily as files and images can be transported digitally. Understand? So, students nowadays love to share their experiences on social media such as TikTok, Twitter, or Instagram. So, it is only natural that bringing technology into the classroom will lead to greater collaboration, doesn't it? So, there are two big advantages to using technology in the classroom to foster collaboration. One is that the collaboration can be tracked, for example, who is doing what and how much. For example, when it comes in using Google Doc, Google Presentation and such. Next is to encourage teamwork, a useful skill for future which is the subject of the last point of this video which is prepare students for the future. When it comes right down to it, the education system is all about preparing young people for the rest of their lives. A big part of their future will be the job world. This means they need to be comfortable with technology. Schools and universities need to keep up to date the trends. As the saying goes, the future is now, this has never been truer than it is today. If the education these days fail to keep pace with the forward march of technology, the future is this thing. I mean, uh, this tonight to be problematic. So, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye.